Right, in this video tutorial, we're going to do step 11. We're going to add the sliding door to your the log cabin model. Uh, we're going to use a sliding door from the workshop. So we're going to go across to SketchUp now, and we're going to open the workshop, which is this little icon on the right-hand side of your screen. And we're going to go and find the, the door that I've given, the spec. You'll see it's on your document. Uh, it's a sliding door, and the designer is Matrix. So we're going to go find the sliding door by uh, using the designer's name. So we go across here to SketchUp, and you're on the warehouse, right? And we're going to type in sliding door. Press Enter. And then we're going to go by advanced, the advanced filter down the bottom, uh, on the bottom left here. Advanced filter. And we're going to type in the title or the author's name. And we're going to type in there, it's Matrix. Enter. Um, and should type in, click on the models tab at the top here. And then it brings up a sliding door that we, we need. So if we go back and have a look at the document, it's exactly the, exactly the sliding door we need. So we can go and download it into our model space. And there we go. You'll see it's in the, it's at the wrong, wrong angle, but that's okay. So we're going to just release it anywhere on the, the page. And now what I'm going to do is go and create the space on the wall where that sliding door needs to uh, sit. So if we go back to the document, you'll see um, the height and width of the door is given. We have a total height of 2032 two, and a width of 1524. So we're going to go and position it with those specs. Again, we're going to go 21 like we did with the windows off the outside wall. So let's go and use the sliding door positioning here to go and position it in place. So we're going to come 21 off the outside wall with our measuring tape. So we've got 21. Right, we're going to come off the, the floor, a height of 2032. 2032. And then we've got a total width of 1524. 1524. Enter. Then we're going to go and create the boundary and then go delete the material within that boundary. So 1, 2, 3. There we go. So now we're going to take our eraser. Not our eraser, sorry. We're going to click on that space with a select, delete. We can also delete the line at the bottom as well. Right, I can go ahead then and just rub out all my construction detail. And now we can go and place that door uh, in that spacing. But before we do that, in order to do this, we actually have to rotate. The door is actually, it's not needing to be rotated. So we're in a good position. So I'm going to then go and, well, we're going to use the move command. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to move the door from this outside corner or edge of the material. So not the inside the outside corner or edge over here, that bottom corner there, that end point. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to now drag it across into the space that we created um, following step 11's positioning. And on that point, there we have it. So now the door is positioned perfectly inside that space. Right. The next step will be to add material in terms of color. So we'll do it um, in this video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to triple click the whole uh, uh, model and I'm going to go to my um, materials and I'm going to search for wood. So I'm going to go down here to uh, for wood. There it is. And we're going to use this uh, wood dark floor. We're going to click on that and we're going to add it to the whole, um, whole cabin. Now you'll see that there's obviously some stuff that is not in the correct color and that's fine we're going to go add that now so we've added wood to everything we're going to go and change the color of the roof as well as the overhead the sorry the covered patio we're going to use a nice dark gray here so we're going to click that all those features or parts that make up the the roof now you'll notice there's the overhang as well so underneath here we also want to make sure we include that right get into those little spaces Here we are. Right. Then we're going to do the top of the patio cover. We're going to do the floor of the balcony. So those are all in the right color. Now we're going to come a color just slightly lighter. Um, and we're going to do the, the, the window uh, frames. But easier way to do this is to click, hold, shift down. And we can select all the parts that make up that window frame. So I'm holding shift down as I do this. Rotate, shift, 
grab all those features to the window. It's a little it takes a little bit of patience. We, because we haven't made groups, we've got a little bit more work to do, but that's fine. So I haven't gone underneath it. You can zoom in here and go underneath if you want. Um, let's really zoom in nice and close. Okay, and there we go. I'm going to click that, that gray, and that should have now created the bound the, the border for that. Good. So we're going to carry on with that gray. We're going to work all the way around. I'm not going to hold shift. I'm just going to quickly go and um, color just individually. Get underneath as well. So I think all features of that are done. One more window frame. There we go. It would have probably been easier if we made this a component. Well, it would have been, but we don't need to do that. We only have three windows, so it's not a train smash to just do them one by one. Right. Top and bottom windows done. Now we have to add the window uh, material, which is that translucent that we spoke about in the, in the previous video. So we're going to go to glass and mirrors. And we're going to use this translucent glass sky reflection. We're going to click on it and then just go and click that onto all our window spacings. And there we have it. We have, you can see, it actually adds the translucence to the, to the windows. So the windows are done. All the colored features are added. You just now need to go and add in any vegetation you want, as well as a weaver, to the balcony. And you'll do that by accessing your um, warehouse. Um, you will... Go into the warehouse and search for those features and you can go populate them um, and you can go place them uh, where you like. Right, that's the end of the, this, the video tutorials for the log cabin. <laughs>